Hi friends, welcome to Aerodic Solutions. In, in previous discussion, in previous sessions, we discussed about uh, the embedded system introduction as well as operating system and non-operating system differences and number system and then operating system modes, CUI, GUI and all this. Now, I just want to give some brief information on commands. See, you cannot explain the commands here. Like you need to practice more and more commands on the system. So there are standard commands from Linux operating system to deal with your directories, which means folders in your computer and handling many files and editing files. So all this related to these commands, like how to check a system date and system calendar and system version and all this. So you need to know the basic commands of your terminal uh, from terminal from Linux Ubuntu. So again, commands syntaxes are very clear. You will find only commands from Ubuntu, like to open your, suppose you are looking for cal calendar. So simply you need to only command, there is option for us, you need to go for make dir. So this is the one command which is helping us like creating directory from the Linux operating system. And even the few commands which are available with command with option, like so you just take care of your command like touch followed by file name. So this is your command with option and command option value. So this is the one of the another syntax of basic commands from Linux. So there are three possibilities for your uh, commands. There is a only command and command with option and command option value. And these options are many from Linux operating system. You can, you can learn number of commands and practice number of uh, Linux commands with your system. And the next thing you need to know what is editor from your Linux Ubuntu. So for installing this VI editor, you need to follow this simple command like sudo apt get install vim. So this is one of the editor com editor installation command you can you can use for your installation. Okay, but the main thing or main purpose learning this editor or commands from Linux Ubuntu. So you should operate your computer properly. So that is the main motto of us. Okay. So again, your edi VI editor is important for writing C programs and compiling C programs and execute your C programs. And this, so this VI editor, which will allow three modes. So the first mode is editor mode. And second mode is command mode and third one is execution mode, which is exit mode. So whereas editor mode, you, if you want to enter into editor mode, so you need to use simply followed by VI followed by file name. So this allows to open the editor from your Ubuntu operating system. So once you enter into, uh, once you open any editor or text editor from your computer, so that should be the editor mode, then you can enter into text mode simply by pressing I or A or o, which is insert, append or open. So you can use any one of this option to enter into edit the edit the text from your editor mode. So once you press a character I from your keyboard, it allows there is a simple option insert. So which allows to type the text. You can type anything from your anything on your editor file like it's maybe program or it may be simple text anything you can you can do it like notepad or word from your regular windows operating system but once you type if you want to modify the text or if you want to do save or if you want to uh, do any operations on the type of text you have to go you have to learn the other modes which is command mode and exit mode from the terminal so whereas command mode which allows to all like copy operations, paste operations, delete operations, single character, sing, uh, and end of the line, beginning of the line, and edit particular character in the text. So, and particular word, particular sentence, or replace, or converting lowercase to uppercase. So, these are all many more commands required if you want to, to learn. Okay, so if you want to get more practice on those commands, I, I didn't show here, but you need to know. The more commands required for all text editor operations, generally how you will do in the Word document, like page friend, page up, page end, line, line friend, line end, line middle, or tab, 
so these are all the different options you need to learn from the command mode but always if you want to do any modifications with the editor editor so you need to keep your editor in command mode not in insert mode or editor mode so editor mode which which won't allow any commands for your operations but if you have to keep all for all these operations in command mode and how to change from editor mode to command mode by using simply escape so for this edit mode to command mode or command mode to edit mode from command mode to edit mode use i which means insert and coming back from editor mode to command mode so you need to use escape so simply i and escape or i or a or o so these are the three options you can use to keep in editor mode but once you go back from editor mode to command mode simply press escape from the keyboard so this this command mode allows all the operations like copy the line which is yy and uh, if you are looking for multiple lines copy just follow the number followed by yy and paste the lines pp and delete the lines dd like but you have to press all these characters from the keyboard by keeping in command mode which means escape mode so the other name of command mode is even escape mode okay just keep it in escape and press escape after writing any text in the editor mode and then apply all these operations like you have to do these operations are mandatory for the programmer because generally you are looking to copy the number of lines from the program so paste the number of lines or delete the lines or delete the word delete the character insert the character at beginning of the line end of the line end of the page beginning of the page for all this you should know the proper commands so these these commands are important for us to text the to type the program or to modify the program okay so these are general requirements any any programmer has to learn all these commands so these these commands are not enough but you have even the set of commands list i'll give in the description link so all those uh, commands list you can download from our link okay but understand the command mode is very important for us to do all this modif all these kind of modifications in the edit editor okay and again come back from command mode to edit edit mode or text mode so you have to keep press press i from the keyboard which is insert mode and after doing all this like you done all the modifications you done you written all the program but again you have to come back to the terminal so then you need to use exit mode so this exit mode allows to do save the file so before coming back from uh, editor to terminal so you should use this exit mode for this how to save your file and how to quit from the edit editor to terminal okay so for this you should know this colon and keep this keep it in mind this exit mode works on only command mode okay so you should enter into command mode then you need to type this colon not semicolon remember two dots it is a colon followed by w this allows to save your file and then colon w with q this save and quit because sometimes you don't want you are not looking to any changes then you can easily quit from the editor by pressing colon and q and looking to save and quit use colon w q and looking only save colon w so these three are important but you have to do some other replacements and arrows so these are many more options you have to learn from the command command mode because doing your all these operations like uh, down arrow up arrow like horizontal move vertical move for all this you have different options you should understand okay so but remember these are the necessary things you, you need to lo know as a programmer before entering into type the programs in editor from the linux ubuntu okay so again in the next sessions you will talk about the introduction of c language and how to write programs and i'll explain each 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 topic concept and yeah, i'll give a few examples on the each topic and you'll start learning c language with linux and writing program and compiling program and executing our program with your linux operating system okay and this is just this diagram will show you like creating directories how to create by using simple make directory followed by directory name 
this will create the directory and you are looking to like equivalent to folder from windows operating system and create the directory and again you are looking to files from the directory by using touch command so just touch followed by file name so you can create multiple files and you are looking to modify the files or you want to see the text what present in the text uh, text file you can follow cat command looking copy to copy from one directory to another directory or moving file from one directory to another directory you can follow these necessary commands cp mv and cat see what is, what is the information in the specific files you can see with the help of cat command so this, this is how you need to learn if necessary commands the importance of learning these commands from editor and regular commands for operating your computer it's very important uh, this is this is the brief information on the commands topic but this is very important for beginner for by learning all the commands required for file operations and uh, operating your computer by using this this necessary commands so from the next session we'll start programming with c language thanks thanks for watching